Kaaralan natin ang tungkol sa occupational health and safety procedures dahil napaka-importante nito dahil sa magiging empleyado tayo sa hinaharap o kaya may-ari tayo ng isang negosyo. So, importante lamang na malaman natin yung health and safety. Ang content standard natin ay the learner demonstrates an understanding of the concepts and underlying principles in the OHS procedure. And anong objectives natin for our lesson for today? At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to define yung occupational health and safety, determine the responsibilities of the employer and employee, and differentiate yung hazard from the risk. Health. Pag sinabi natin health, it is a state of physical and mental well-being, including the absence of disease, walang sakit, or infirmity. When we say safety naman, relates to the absence of physical or psychological injury or harm. So, safe tayo, at the same time, healthy. Okay ang ating well-being. Ang Occupational Health and Safety naman, or the OHS, it is a planned system of working to prevent illness and injury kung saan tayo nagtatrabaho at malaman natin ano ba yung mga hazards or panganib na nasa pinagtatrabuhan nating lugar. Dahil ito ay responsibility of all persons in the industry. Tandaan po yan. Dahil yan ay responsibility, dapat ma-identify yung mga hazards and evaluate yon para malaman kung paano makokontrol para hindi maging mapanganib sa mga manggagawa. Eliminate hazard and modify the risk. Ito ay nakabase sa RA or Republic Act number 11058. Again, RA 11058, also known as Occupational Safety and Health Law. So, ang mga employer at ang mga empleyado sumusunod dito class dahil merong mga penalty pag merong violation. Again, RA 11058, Occupational Safety and Health Law ng ating bansa. So, ano-ano naman ang benefits of OHS? Una dyan ay less work uh, turnover or absenteeism. Walang pala absent dahil safe yung lugar, safe yung pinagtatrabawuhan. Improve ability to cope with change or stress na mamanage yung stress level nila. Moral, walang natatapakang mga tao, of course. Increase productivity and job satisfaction. Satisfied sa trabaho nila. Okay, fewer injuries. As much as possible, fewer injuries para hindi gumastos pang pa-ospital. Increase retention and recruitment. Gumaganda yung image ng company. And of course, reduce chances of accidents in the workplace. Ano naman ang responsibility of employer o yung may-ari ng uh, kumpanya o may-ari ng pagawaan o yung may-ari ng workplace? Ensure that working environment is safe and with us, without risks to health and safety. Provide information, instruction, training sa mga manggagawa and supervise or guidance to ensure employees' health and safety. Use hazard identification and risk control process to fulfill legal obligations. So, merong nagmamanage yan, merong tao para dyan. Usually, the HR. Ano-ano naman ang responsibilities of employees? Una dyan, take precautions. So, laging mag-iingat para hindi mapahamak ang mga sarili. Comply with workplace policies and procedures. So, una pa lang, pagpasok sa trabaho, okay, um, sasabihin na yung mga policies and procedures. So, dapat mag-comply para may iwasan ng aksidente. Okay, mag-participate kung mayroong fire drill, earthquake drill, and pag may na-identify na hazards, i-report yan. Pag mayroong insidente or injury, i-report. Yung work tools and equipment, ayun, with accordance to training instructions para hindi mapahamak o makaiwas dapat tayo sa aksidente. Ano yung tinatawag na hazard identification and risk control process? So dito class, ina-identify yung hazards. Ina-assess din or in-evaluate yung risks o risgo. You follow the information in the company guide to decide on control measures. Sila na bahala dyan. Basta mag-participate dapat ang employee. Implement dapat yung measures 
and monitor and review the strategies implemented. Again, ang goal ay maging healthy at maging safe ang employee, ang mga empleyado. What is hazard? Ano ba yung tinatawag nilang hazard o panganib? Ang hazard is anything in the workplace that has the potential to harm people. Again, ang clue natin dito ay anything, kahit anong bagay na merong potential to harm people. Hazards can include objects in the workplace such as machinery or dangerous chemicals. Hazards yan. Other hazards relate to the way work is done. So again, hazard anything in the workplace that has the potential. Again, potential pa lang na makaharm o makasakit. Yung risk class, ito ay chance or probability that a person will be harmed or experience an adverse health effect if exposed to hazard. So dapat class, para masabing merong risk, expose muna siya sa hazard. Okay? Kung exposed ka or merong exposure, edi mataas ang risk. Anything that can cause harm, yan ang tawag natin hazard. Anything, kahit anong bagay yan. Yung risk ay how great the chance. So, in terms of chance. Example natin ng hazard versus risk class. Ito yung mga hazard. We have water, gasoline, and driving. Okay. Kailan nagiging risky? Ang tubig. So, Magiging risk lang ang water, yun, kapag tumalon ka, tas lumangoy, hindi ka naman marunong lumangoy. Gasoline. Ang gasoline, hazardous siya, pero nagiging risky. Risky yung situation kapag, yun, naglight ka ng match. Yung driving, hazard. Actually, hazard ang driving. Kailan nagkakaroon ng risk o tumataas ang risk na magkaroon ng aksidente o maaksidente ka? Yun, nagdetext ka while driving. Yan, ang fire hazard, lalo yung fire hazard. Types of hazards in the workplace, we have physical, so ito yung workstation, chair, desk, computer, pag-office, di ba? Pag-office related. Biological class, bacteria or viruses. So kung office-based, kung office yung workplace mo, ito yun. Ito yung example ng physical hazards. Pag-biological hazards, bacteria or viruses, mga germs. Ergonomics naman ay yung design or ayos ng mga gamit sa workplace. So, kung maayos yung arrangement ng table, maayos yung pagkakaposisyon ng mga gamit, may iwasan yung mga injuries or physical injuries. That's it for the lesson for today and make sure na i-review nyo ulit tong video para masagutan nyo ang ating quiz. Ang susunod na lesson natin ay tungkol sa common workplace hazards.